I reviewed the original Botex leggings back in July 2017 and I really like the idea of them. They came in particularly handy on a couple of DGR rides where I had to travel over 50 miles into London wearing just a three-piece suit. Botex have just recently got in touch to say that they have not one but two new versions of these leggings and they say that they're better than the previous ones. So let's see. I'll put a link in the top corner to that original review but the new ones are literally the same concept just with an improved design, fit and construction. So let's start with the replacement of the original leggings which they are now calling the Essential and these are designed to slip underneath a pair of normal trousers to offer that extra abrasion and impact resistance when riding. The main layer is a mix of 45% DuPont Kevlar and 55% Cormax materials. The lining and second layer is 87% high density polyamide material and 15% elastane. This mix makes the leggings very stretchy and comfortable as well as lightweight while still offering a very good level of abrasion and impact resistance. Armour wise they come with SAS or SAS Tech level 2 armour in the knees as standard but if you want the hip protectors for the essential trousers then you have to pay extra for those. I've been really impressed with this armour, it's lightweight, incredibly flexible and quite compact for level 2. It'll be interesting to see if this crops up in other garments as we go forward because I think this is a really nice solution uh, and I think it's actually a little bit more robust than the much lauded D3O ghost armour. The main difference with the new model, as you can see, is this large amount of stretchy material that runs right through their construction. When you're wearing them, you hardly know that you've got them on, although having said that, of course, it is an extra layer, which can sometimes come in useful when the temperature starts to drop. Botex have added stirrups to the feet, which is a good feature because it stops these from riding up underneath your jeans. Sizing is pretty accurate as well, so ordering your normal size is definitely the way to go. In terms of CE ratings, the Essential has a garment rating of a single A, but the abrasion resistance of double A. Now obviously you're not going to wear these on your own. You could, they show somebody on the website wearing them, but you're going to have to be pretty brave to go out in public wearing just these. Uh, so obviously anything you wear over the top is going to add a little bit more protection. Not much maybe, but some. I've worn these under jeans and I've found them to be excellent and actually I think potentially I would look at wearing these as a replacement to the thermal liner in some of my textile riding pants through the winter. I think they're for one going to be more comfortable, they will still offer an extra layer of insulation for warmth. Uh, the thing is because they're close fitting the armour is going to stay in place which means I can take the rather bulky armour out of some of my other textile pants and wear these I've got the protection and the armour in the right place and comfort as well. They're very handy when you don't want to or can't carry extra kit. So I've worn these into work under a normal pair of jeans. When I get there, I just whip these off and then I've got the comfort of a normal pair of Levi's that I can wear during the day, but I've had impact and abrasion resistance protection on my ride in. Yes, of course, there are single layer jeans out there that you could in theory wear on the bike and wear all day. But if I'm being honest, the ones that I've found so far, although they're getting better, are still not as comfortable to wear all day as your favourite pair of Levi's would be. So the essential leggings are ideally suited for those people that want to wear their favourite jeans or trousers and still ride their bike with the protection. And as I say, they can also be double up to add a little bit of extra protection to some existing riding gear that you may already have. But there is another new option from Botex, which is the Standard R. Now these are designed along exactly the same lines, but the material used on the outside is 100% DuPont Kevlar. This does make them stiffer and heavier, but only very marginally to be honest. The standard R leggings come with the same Sastec Level 2 armour in the knees and this time as standard in the hips. And that gives these a standalone garment rating of a AA uh, with the abrasion resistance of AAA. So if you want a higher level of protection, maybe at a little bit of cost of bulk, these are the ones to go for. 
The fit on these is very slightly looser than the Essentials, but I kind of like that because it means that you can wear these as a standalone piece of kit without them looking particularly weird. They might not work for everyone, of course, but with a pair of adventure boots on an adventure bike or a scrambler, they don't look too out of place and they've been excellent in the warmer weather. Worn on their own, the airflow and comfort through these has been exceptional. And to be honest, they don't really look like anything more than an urban version of an MX pant, but with double A protection. Of course, you can still wear them under jeans or trousers, but they are marginally more bulky. For me, these are more suitable for longer journeys or where your travel speed is likely to be faster. There's not really much more I can say about them, to be honest. The Essentials are definitely a big improvement over the old versions. They're a much better fit and they're much more comfortable and a bit cooler to wear. And the Standard Art just takes that on to another level. The quality of the materials in the construction, I think, is very good. All of the materials are sourced in the EU and the final product is also completely manufactured in the EU. What about prices? Well, the Essentials retail at £159 and the Standard are at £249, which is in line with many standalone riding jeans or trousers. Arguably, the leggings are potentially a more flexible piece of kit because they're going to have a wider range of use, particularly the Standard R because you can wear them on their own and in warm weather, they are incredibly comfortable. I'll leave a link in the description for you to click on if you want to go away and find out a little bit more about these products, uh, look at the technical specification or indeed find out more about Botex as a company. And if you have got any questions, then drop those in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them for you. I do want to give these a longer term test as well, so I'll continue to wear them both under jeans and as we dip into winter, I'll start to wear them underneath some of my other textile riding pants and I'll be able to give you some feedback on how that works. So watch out for maybe a follow up review in the spring. A like and a subscribe are always very much appreciated and all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching, take care, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.